Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2 in Hell. Because I'm getting cooked alive in my office. Anyway, uh, let's go this. And let's make a another strange thing magicy. If you know the recipe, you know what we are going to do. But if you don't know, you will see just in minutes but basically it's going to be a super amazing thing that will help us with uh, some of the future machines too and with today's thing it's gonna help a lot and what we're gonna do for today it's actually quite simple that we are going to make the drum roll please Mana generation. And why we are making a uh, what I want focus for mana generation. That's quite interesting, right? Like I don't know. Maybe something that help us to ward some bad effects that we don't want. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's it, or maybe something else, I don't know. And with that, we have a one focus of warning. And what it does is, let's get this, and for example, do I have any vis in it? No, no, of course not, no. And let's get some whis, I hope it's enough, and... You're using actually shift G. You are using Aqua or Doterra. Okay, I need Aqua or Doterra, and uh, I think I can get from uh, there from this. No, nah, it's Terra, and uh, Aqua can be found here. Yep, and Ordo. Okay, now. Let's uh, do this and give a small demonstration. Let me just do that. Hey, it's an interesting texture, right? I cannot break it. And the uh, only way for me to break is deward it. And this guy also uh super strong against explosions too so it will be a super super helpful thing for our next project and i also cleared this area a bit and i'm planning to make a small hut around here for botania yeah or here or here uh this area will be moved eventually but I think, by the way, I think I ended up deciding to continue with this base. Uh, maybe in the inside areas, I will change the design language. Or here, too. And also, we'll remake... Oh, it, uh, it's interesting. Uh, I also probably end up remaking this building, too, because I ended up not liking it. And for space station, I will do a space station. Not now, but in near future. And that space station will handle some stuff. I don't know what yet, but we will use that space station. At least for fun. Anyway, let me show you our mana generation tool. It's bombs. Yeah, we're gonna explode everything. Not everything, but uh, a lot of things. And with that, we actually need some building materials. I think moon rock would be nice. Also, I'm gonna need one more thing. Uh, where's the flower? Okay, I need uh, this guy. 
And this guy is super easy, actually. Let me just get some shears. Do I have any shears on me? Yep, I have. And get some... This guy. And with those, I just need five. Thank you. And just turn them here. What? Ah, okay, because it's this. And I just wasted some mana. And some durability of my shear. No problem, no problem. It's not a, not a huge waste. And then... We get this guy. And later we need... Uh, which flower would be nice to use? Uh, let's use those. And I'm gonna need some glowstone. Glowstone. I need also a glowstone farm. And uh, by the way, talking about farms, uh, I have a small problem. I will fix it uh, later. But this guy got clogged by this. And I need a different pipe to handle that thingy magicy. And glimmering light fl flower. And with that, we also need this guy, these guys, and some dirt. Let's get five, because we only need five. And voila. And with that, we have this guy. And those are, by the way, they also uh, emit light. So I might use them or something. And let's make this. Is there a quest for it for in Botania? Oh, by the way, we got this quest. And for Botania, no, I guess not. Yeah, there is not. Uh, by, but uh, the, this quest book uh, actually lacks on the Botania side. And I'm kind of sad as a Botania fan. And this area could be a nice... It could be nice. Yeah, uh, let's make it here. Actually, not make it here. Let's make it here. Oh, why? Because I don't want my explosions to... Uh, interrupted by anything else. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I uh, did some tests on my in a, my test world, and I end up uh, coming with an idea for it. Also, uh, you come here because I'm gonna need you for something else. Instead of direct warding, let me just get those. We're gonna use warded glass. And this is going to be painful, right? Yep. Why did I decide to make the, 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 a stack of this? I don't know, but I think I kind of sort of hate myself. Actually, that's kind of obvious because I'm playing GTNH. So why I'm even wondering about that? Anyway, uh, let's get to this, and I need to start manipulating our nodes, but first I want my Terra Steel. I want it. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Anyway, this uh, for now should be sufficient. I, I actually, I can use you too. Yeah, uh, let's get few more and yeah another insufficient face no problem no problem thank you thank you for what okay thank you for your support my friends anyway 50 should be enough and i should get this and let's get to this uh with this 
thingamajiggy, I actually gonna repl replace these guys with warded glass and as you can see I cannot break it, I need a shift click with a wand and only I can do that. Anyone enters to this world cannot do that. And also, why did I make the floating version of... Okay, that's a update bug. Why did I make the floating version of these guys? And I need one more mana spreader. I will take... You. Thank you. Uh, that's actually quite simple. Uh, with the floating versions, I do not have to place them in dirt. And let's uh, make it a bit longer, because I'm going to need some area. And with that, we're going to place some interesting block. Monolith. What is mana detector? It's a detector for mana. That's simple. Uh, it's actually a super nice basic machine that... Uh, by the way, what's... Okay, this is the cutout point. It emits red redstone signal when, uh, when any time a mana pulse moves through it. So it's a really nice way of detecting mana and why I'm uh, placing here because I want, actually I can move it one block below. Yeah. And mana pool. No, no, I can't. It doesn't uh, cover this guy. So this is the best way. Yep. Every single one of those are covered in this scenario. Okay, uh, by the way, we really need to upgrade those guys eventually, because they will be our bottleneck. Uh, a huge bottleneck, but uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna do fine now. And so let's also do something else. First, we're gonna need a state cell. State cell is an interesting block. Actually, let me just uh, dem demonstrate you with a. I also need, gonna need some levers. Uh, lever. Uh, let's get some. I don't think I'm gonna need some uh, redstone torches, but let's redstone torch. Let's also get some torches too. And. Come here. Okay. State cell. You're go our main thing in Magic. If you can, as you can see, let's place some redstone and place a lever. As you can see, uh, one output is constantly on in this uh, scenario. But if I uh, close the redstone signal, it starts. Counting down and uh, moves to that. But, but in that time, this one still on. Why it's important? Because this guy gives not a doesn't give a constant redstone signal. It gives pulses like this. But state cell turns it into a constant signal, and also. Uh, the add, added two seconds of uh, delay kind of adds up to our safety. So, this is the uh, layout we need, and uh, let's do this. And one more thing is a vanilla comparator. Why a vanilla comparator? Uh, comparator. That's actually. Quite a nice uh, thing about Botania, and uh, it's quite useful. That we can read a monopoles uh, uh, fields amounts with 
this. So it's going to be super helpful. And then we're going to make something. Three, four, six, and place this. Okay. Uh, with this comparator and uh, with this combo, we're going to make sure it's output threat some signal after a, a 10 level emitted. Uh, I think around 17, uh, 75%, 70%, something like that. So I'm not sure. And then the next part. We're going to build that wall to the sky. And uh, my, um, did I mention one of my favorite games is Bastion? It's an amazing game. If you didn't play it, I played it. Play, please. You won't regret it. And then I need one more thing. Uh, uh what was it? Uh, deployer. No, not deployer. What was... Ah, dispenser. Okay. Dispenser. Okay, I just need five. And let's take the five dispensers. By the way, we can technically uh, make one dispenser and uh, make sure that he... Uh, how can I say? Uh, fires five times. But I don't want it, because it's going to be hard to scale. It's a lot harder to scale. And also, uh, when anything goes wrong, that means the entire thing going to explode. So, warded... Okay. And then, let's place the flowers. And I need a way of feeding this guy with some Tinguenjuji. And I think I know a way, but yeah. For now, just place in a drawer and use some conduits. In the end, I will do a better idea. A better way, but I'm kind of lazy to craft uh, five of those guys or one with a bunch of conduits. Five of those guys will be much more safer. Uh, one with conduits, much more cheaper. And let's get ten conduits. I need to make more. And with that. Let's also take this guy here and just do this. Okay. And apparently I'm gonna need to make a better extractor now. Uh, it's not a hu huge urgent thing, but I'm gonna need. Now. What we're also going to need is uh, one dominant and a few recessive uh, augmentations. Uh, those are cheap and uh, just diamonds. i never seen a diamond. Uh, why I'm... Anyway. And uh, titanium. Let's take four again. And... Uh, one earth and uh, three eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, three fire. And let's get one earth and one, two, three fire. I need to make more fires eventually, but they are easy to make. And let's make it here. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I need to turn those guys. Thank you. And if I do this now, we will have some spark. Uh, spark augmentation, sorry. One recessive and those guys. 
And let's scan those. Yep. Because they will be... They are interesting and I, I cannot scan you. Anyway. And if we go here... Uh, where should I put my mana pool? Hmm. A round would be nice. Yep, uh, let's... Actually, I can move it to here, so... Maybe here. One, two... Uh, let's make three by three. Okay, and... Place one spark for each. And also place a spark here. And put the recessive one to this guy. And as you can see, it is connected to all of those. And this recess recessive one will feed this guy. And what we're gonna need is now activating the system. Uh, where did I put my T and T's? Ah, okay, they are here. And making... Okay? Actually, that, that makes sense because I never touched this much TNT at, at the same time. Well, let me just get Sulfuric Seed Cell and let's jumpstart this guy. And as you can see, when it explodes, it will go to this and this guy will feed those. And what we're gonna need to do is going. We are going to. Are you on a which orientation? Okay, mana pull to this, and so we're gonna move our mana pool to somewhere. Okay, uh, we are gonna carry this mana pool here, ish. With a dominant spark. Actually, I have extra monopoles, so let me just do that and you can be, for example, here. Yeah, uh, the main working monopole. And actually, I'm gonna need more dominant ones. And uh, actually, yeah, yeah, uh, three should be okay. And you come here because uh, you're going to be super uh, work in an interesting way now and another round yeah that's super fun actually <laughs> super fun to watch and uh, for example let's do this and i'm gonna place another spark here and uh, not like this okay shift Oh, you're gonna need a mana spreader again. Anyway, uh, we will do just that uh, eventually. Let's place you here for now and mana spreader. I got my hopes up. I I remember it can be done, but anyway. And let's reverse the direction and get this, and also get. This guy, too. Mana spreader. And those mana spreaders will eventually die out because they do, they are not needed. Uh, they, uh, they not the not not needed. They will be upgraded. Okay, and you come here. And also, the second one can be go here. The alchemical one should go here. And also place a dominant spark here. And yeah, those guys will fill. And after this guy fills a 75%, this system will shut down. And no more explosions. Uh, till I use some mana. Now. What we're gonna need is wait for some mana to fill in this buffer. It is big buffer. Big 
not so ugly buffer. And I'm gonna build a botania area around here. Eventually. And I don't like the place, some of the placements, but anyway, what can I do sometimes? It's the football, that's the football. Uh, I will probably build a building here. A small, uh, nice building here. And the Botania workstation area is a garden. And yeah, it's super fun to watch. Uh, anyway, it's, it, it works. It's worth it. Uh, now, what we're gonna need to do is place those guys back. And we have some excess monopoles. Some excess uh, sparks and... Actually, those guys are go going to get used. But first, we're gonna make a behemoth. And guys, another classic craft of fashion. I did a lot of uh, Tinjimejigi and ended up realizing something. And a simple oversight. Yeah, this guy. Ingrate di diamond crystal chip. It requires EV laser engraver. And so let's just look at it. Uh, large precision factory requires IV. And uh, this guy requires an emitter. That requires a quantum eye. That requires radon, radon, and that requires uranium, uranium, and plutonium. So yeah, uh, it was a thing, but at least I have a much better mana production. Yeah, I need to do something about that. Yeah, uh, guys, uh, we are going to the Mars. But first, I think I'm going to make some rocket fuel. But at least we are, we have a better mono production. And with that mono production, we can actually use a lot of things. But it's not now because most of the cool, actual cool stuff are gated behind the Terra Steel. Yeah, that's a bummer for me. But at least we cleared our objective. Our objective is... Let's look at here. Uh, finish up this circuit line with EV field generators and that requires another star, okay. And... Rocket. So yeah, <laughs> our goal is set. I just need to craft those things. I already have epoxy, but it's not automated yet. I will automate it. And maybe also the open computers part. So yeah, this is going to be that. And uh, EV circuit assembler, etc., etc. Et et and yeah, creates new. Oh, okay. I'm as a replicator. Okay. So basically, we are moving forward with the space race. That means I'm going to make a bunch of new thingy magies and i don't think i will uh, recycle the old uh, rocket i will you keep it uh, as a trophy and then move with the new one yep that's going to be the entire focus for the next i i think few episodes uh, two to three episodes. First, I uh, I will probably build this circuit line 
manually for first for the quest and to getting the nanoprocessed mainframe. And then I will just put rocket, uh, make the rocket, go to the Mars, dig entire planet, <laughs> and return home with our booty and process everything with it. And also make it titanium. Actually, come to think of it, uh, we can actually uh, get a lot of titanium. Uh, tung tungsten, ten, sorry, a lot of tungsten now, but tungsten dust. Uh, let me look at it. Yeah, tungsten. There's also a tungsten ore, and it's uh, tier five uh, planets and small ores. Uh, okay, tier four, and uh, tungsten dust actually can come from. Um, uh, it from this too, but it's probably yeah, tungsten trioxide, uh, tungsten acid, she lights. By the way, the the she lights. Yep, it comes from the Mars demons, etc. Yep, uh, we have better. Uh, we actually skip a step for, with this. Sodium tungstate, yeah. Yep, uh, we actually skip a step with this and uh, calcium chloride. Uh, yeah, 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 we will handle the rest of the stuff. I think I will handle that part and we will add one more EB. Oh, actually, it's going to require more than one EBF, so we are gonna pro make a titanium pro uh, tungsten processing line. But it's not the most important part. First, the first important part is going to be the rushing through the rocket. And after the Mars, we're gonna do something more interesting too. We are finally move away from our logistics pipes network to apply logistics. Uh, two networks are going to simultaneously exist at the same time for a while, especially we automate uh, due to we automated a lot of things with it. But it's end up going to be retired. So this is Crafty, Crafty, and have a nice day.